Hi, I'm Candy Cooper with Plaid Enterprises, and today I'm going to show you how to make some really beautiful jewelry using Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. These metal bezel frames are all the rage right now in jewelry making, and today I'm going to show you how you can fill them up with your own pieces and parts and make some awesome jewelry. You'll need some Mod Podge Gloss, Mod Podge Dimensional ba Magic, a paintbrush, and your metal bezel frames and paper. The fun part for me is always choosing the paper. Uh, some of the inspiration could be children's artwork. You can reduce it on a color copier and outline it in a permanent marker and it'll show up really well. Today I'm going to be using some words from a dictionary and I've collaged a little bit on scrapbook paper and then reduced the size and I have some miniature bird cages here that I'm going to cut out. So I've gone ahead and cut out all my papers and parts here. I've got my metal frame, my base paper piece, a word of dance, and a little metal flower embellishment. 3D embellishment pieces are really cool to use in these frames. So if you have ever Mod Podged before, this will be really easy, but I'm just going to paint a layer of Mod Podge down in the frame. And then I'm going to pick up my piece and you can just kind of smush it down in there and then put another layer of Mod Podge on top. And then go ahead and add as many layers as you want. And I've got my dance word. I'm going to stick in there and smooth it down. It's kind of being tricky. There we go. And then for the metal embellishment, I'm going to add kind of a thicker um, dot of Mod Podge and stick it in place. And then you'll want to just leave that to dry. And I've got one ready here. And I'm going to fill it with the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. And this stuff is really great because it's non-toxic, but it gives you that epoxy clear finish that looks so neat. And what you'll want to do is start the flow separately and that gets rid of all your air bubbles in the tube and then start filling your bezel frame. And before I forget, I've actually um, gotten these to finished after they've dried and not liked the appearance. And you can soak it in warm water and that will loosen your pieces and parts and you can scrape them out and start again. Obviously you'll lose your paper, but you'll, um, your metal frame is still good to go. Now if you do have some air bubbles sneak in, you can remove them with a sharp needle and they'll pop. So that's set right there. Now, after this dries, you can add more layers or leave it alone. And I've got some finished pieces right here. And uh, this is the one we just made. And I've added some beaded dangles and, and little charms. And then the other one is not a bezel um, setting at all. It's actually just a flat acrylic pendant. And the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic is so thick that it stays in place on top of my decoupage butterfly. So I hope you've enjoyed these ideas. Have fun making some beautiful jewelry at home. For more ideas like this, check out plaidonline.com.